Hey guys, welcome to this edition of Tutorial Sunday. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to run A-B testing without paying a lot of money for A-B testing software. When you start having pages that make money on your authority sites, you will often want to A-B test the layout or the content to try to optimize the conversion and try to increase your revenue. The problem is if you want to do that, it's usually pretty expensive to get a software that's easy to use or it's very complicated and you need to deal with a lot of code. I've found a solution that combines the ease of use of a tool like Optimizely that costs from $79 a month. Um, the $19 version, there's no way you can run proper A-B testing with only 2,000 visitors, but it starts at $79 a month. It's almost as good and you can do it for basically free. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. Let's get started. So for a lot of people that don't know about it, Google Analytics has a built-in A-B testing tool for free. So you can actually A-B test your content completely free, unlimited amount of visits, and you will be able to tie it back to your Google Analytics goals and see which content performs better. The problem is it's pretty hard to set up usually, and also it doesn't really help you visually edit your content, which is a big problem. But I've combined the power of Google Analytics and the, the power of Thrive Content Builder to build an A-B testing tool that allows you to visually edit your content. Let me just show you how this works. The first thing you need to do is you need to go into your WordPress site and pick a page you want to A-B test. In that case, I'm going to take the formatting blog post because it is performing quite well for me and it's done like the most amount of sales on the whole site. So I'm just going to take that post and duplicate it. So I'm just going to clone it and you have that option in WordPress by default so it's pretty easy to use. And once I clicked on the clone button, it's just opening the clone version of the content. And then I can just go and edit it on Thrive Content Builder. I'm going to put a link to the builder below, but basically I can then just start editing the alternative version of the content I want to put up there. So probably the thing I would want to do here is I would want to mention the tool a lot earlier. And I'm actually promoting Thrive Content Builder in that blog post. So that, what I will do is I'm probably going to add an intro paragraph just describing, you know, the tool I'm using. Um, I'd say like, if you're in a hurry, the tool I'm using to create beautiful blog posts is called Thrive Content Builder. Well, feel free to click the link and check out the video to see how it works. And here I would just put my link, right? And I would probably put it in italic and I would just put um, a link to Thrive Content Builder. I'm not going to do it for this video. It would just take a lot of time, but I'll just put a link so you guys visualize what I'm A-B testing. So basically my goal is to figure out if I can make more sales by putting a link on top of the post rather than waiting for people to read the whole thing and see the first link here, which is pretty low in the post. Um, so I'm just going to save that version. And then um, basically what happens is I can publish it, but I will make sure it doesn't get indexed by Google because I don't want this to be considered as duplicate content. So you go in your WordPress SEO by Yoast, and then you can choose to no index it and no follow it. And basically that page is going to not count for Google. And I'm also going to make sure that I put the correct title. It puts clone off, usually in front. And I'm going to edit the URL as well. So I'll just, instead of put clone off, I'll just put a little two at the end so I know what I'm talking about when I link the URL. And that basically creates my duplicate post. I also use a plugin called WP Hide Post so I can control the visibility of the post. You can see here, I can see, I can hide it from the front page, category page, tag pages, etc. So basically, that page is going to be invisible to anyone that doesn't just enter the URL or runs in the A-B test. So once I've done that, I can just publish the post and I have my second version of my post published on my site. Now what I need to do is I need to put Google Analytics to work so that it can serve the two pages alternatively, see which one converts the best based on my goals. So the way I do that is in Google Analytics, you can log in and then if you go into behavior, experiments, then you are able to create experiments. So I'm going to create an experiment called content formatting, which is the post I'm testing right now. And then I can pick a metric. 
uh, I haven't set the goals now, but I could set the goal. I think this one is commenting. So I could just be like checking who comments more based on the version of the post. Or I could set an event on my link click and I could check that as well. So I could actually get it back to the revenue. Then I could choose the percentage of traffic I'd like to experiment with. In that case, 100%. If you want to run fast, if you want to take a page that already makes good money and try to do big changes, maybe run it on 10 or 25%. And then you can set the threshold that you want the experiment to stop at. So when you want to know 99%, 95%, and you can just choose whenever you want the experiment to stop. It's basically the exact same as an Optimizely or a paid tool, but it's free. Um, once you've done that, then you have to select your experiment. And that's pretty easy, actually. I just need to take the URL of that post and um, run it against the original, which is just formatting, I think. So if I just put this against this, then we basically have the two pages loading. You can see the first one has my link on top and the second one won't because that's my original. And you could put as many variations as you want. So the software can really test all of these. And I could click, I could click next step. And if I want to set up my uh, experiment code, which is a little bit of a pain in the ass in WordPress, there is also a plugin I'm going to link below the video called WordPress Experiments. So all I need to do when I want to insert my code is go back and I need to insert it in the original, not in the copy. So that's the copy. And I'm going to go back to the original. So once I'm back to editing my original, I have that new contextual menu that comes for the plugin I told you to click on below that video. And then you can just click enable content experiment on that page. And then you can put your control, your code here um, that you get from Google Analytics. So you say manually insert the code, they give you the code here, and then you can just put it here and save your page. Once you've done that, you should be uh, ready to run the experiment. And then you can just click next step. And what Google Analytics is going to do is it's going to validate that on the post. And you can see that uh, it found everything and it was no problem. And basically I can just start my experiment and that's it. Now Google Analytics is running my experiment and I'm able to actually just edit my pages visually like I would do in an Optimizely or any other A-B testing software. So I, if I run Strive Content Builder because then I can just like add content or click and edit it on the different variations of my pages. So as long as I just know my URLs that I use a uh, Thrive Content Builder to edit visually, and then I use the plugins that I've given you, you will be able to basically run the same thing that people charge you $80 per month to do. So that's quite powerful. And that should help you a lot if you have pages that start making money and you want to make more money. You can just A-B test them and optimize your revenue over time. That's how you really start banking from your authority side. So I hope that was helpful. It was a little bit technical, but it's also a huge value gain for a lot of people. If you like that kind of content, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel or go on authorityhacker.com and subscribe to the mailing list. I email tutorials like that to people every single week. I'm also coming up with an incredibly detailed authority SEO course, including over three hours of tutorial that I'm going to release in the next two weeks to my list. So if you really want to see that kind of content more and learn how to make money with authority sites, then go and subscribe to the list and I'll see you there. Have a good weekend.